Welcome back, everybody, to theCUBE's live coverage here. Day two of three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We are here on the ground. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We got the whole team here. Dave Vellante coasting, Savannah Peterson, Kristen Nicole Martin, and we have Kristen here on theCUBE who's going to reveal the answer to the trivia question, or I should say, two, two truths and a lie, where she asks some questions, but also she runs our CUBE digital team, uh, and also, as you see all the articles on SiliconANGLE, uh, she's the editor of all the stories that come out of the Cube. Kristen, great to see you on the Cube. Back again. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's been a long yeah. time since I've been on set, at a show, <laughs> doing live stuff. You know, what's great is, is that, um, you know, you've been involved in all the machinery of the Cube, the, uh, the video AI cloud, we get the live streams in, you look at the assets, trying to get the nuggets, helping with the AI tool, but also um, here at the show, you've been on the show floor, we've gone around to the booths, uh, you've been surveying the landscape, you got the little trivia question, two truths and a lie, you got the results for. Um, a lot of fun here. Um, so first question is, you know, as we look at the show, what are you seeing on the show floor? What's jumping out at you? Well, there are so many, you know, big players with lots of good demos. We went to the Dell booth. We spent a lot of time there. They've got the AI factory going on. Uh, they have their chips on full display. Um, and you got to walk me through a lot of what they're doing with the machinery over there between liquid cooling and yeah. trying to grow their advancements in, in the stack. Yeah, and it's, it's seeing Dell, by the way, Dell, I want to thank Dell for being a great sponsor for us on the Cube here, as well as the industry ecosystem support brings the Cube there. Kristen, let's get into some of the stories you see tracking on the Cube uh, editorial flow coming out of the event. You get the team working, your team's working. You run the whole team that manages the inbound flow of content in real time. Obviously, we're streaming in real time. Goes to the cloud. What are some of the things popping? There's uh, been several segments yesterday and, and today on liquid cooling. That seems to be a really big thing here. Uh, overall sustainability, uh, energy efficiency, um, but also there's been a lot of talk on cluster systems, right? And that's something that you've been asking a lot of questions about. Yeah, so you want to get to the survey results of your, uh, explain what the, what you yeah. were polling, uh, the general, well, the unscientific poll you're putting together. It's very scientific. Well, so first of all, we wanted to really tap into the Cube AI and see, you know, what, our AI tool was going to say about Supercompute 24 and what the top buzzwords were. So we did some trivia with some folks on the ground and got some ideas on what two truths and a lie would be. We asked our Cube AI what the top buzzwords are here at the show. Um, and do you remember it was uh, some of the options? Cluster um, systems. Cluster systems was on the list. Uh, AI infrastructure, Gen AI, and sustainable infrastructure. Um, and you said cluster systems would not be on uh, did you thought that one was the lie? <laughs> yeah? Well, uh, wait, it was actually a trick question. Those are all really top buzzwords here at the show. So there's so many things being talked about, uh, but particularly clusters. So systems. which ones was the lie? It, 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 was, it was a trick question. Oh, it was a trick question. <laughs> so they're all truths. They're all truths. <laughs> of yeah. course, it's the Cube AI. It's the Cube AI. There's and AI, no hallucinations. AI infrastructure topped the list. Yep. And uh, second behind that was cluster systems. So. Yeah. I mean, you got to trust the QBA. The QBA is really good at ingesting the conversations and getting the data out. Um, I want you to share for the folks while we got you here, because it's a little promo for the Q digital team. Take us inside the ropes of how the system's working, because we have a whole operational team dedicated to serving the audience the best content possible, creating great editorial flow to Rob Hope and his team. The research team as well is getting real-time insights out to the customers and clients. And of course, there's so much content. I mean, remember when we started SiliconANGLE in 2009, and then when I, we teamed up with Dave Vellante and formed theCUBE, um, we were doing everything manually. <laughs> so we've got some manual process. So take us through what, what's going on. Share with the folks inside, inside, the, inside the curtain. Yeah, let's take a trip into the Cube, a journey into the Cube um, event coverage, right? Written coverage, there is a whole team, a great team, of writers that take all of the video assets that happen here live at the shows. And um, thanks to the video software that the Cube has that provides really good transcripts and context for what's happening live, uh, we're able to really extract the signal from the noise and get the summaries out of, of what the top stories are, what the top threads are. And that goes out on our, our siliconangle.com um, uh, website. And talk about the innovation around how fast the team works and now the addition of our super studios, we call them. We got Palo Alto, we got Boston, our two main studios, and now we just added the NYSE, second largest independent media operator on the show floor behind CNBC. Talk about the impact of what the studios have done for our, our content flow, relevance, and our ability to do more content, combined with the events. Right, right, because the events are real time, our teams are real time, 
where our writers are watching the live stream right now and they are covering it right now. They're making clips to put out on social media and we're getting all the all of our people engaged with it, right? So whoever that we're talking with on the cube, we're getting to engage with them on social and they get to be a part of the story here on the set and also digitally online. And with the Super Studio events, that's just more opportunity to get more insights, more context and more stories. Right. And taking that event coverage and extending it out into the into the studios allows us to continue the conversation like on a first party basis, like we never left the show. It's almost like we're creating a digital twin of the event. In fact, we call that internally our digital twin where we go out and do and continue the show because we only have three days here. Yeah. Yeah, but there's so many stories to tell. And so when we're able to really have the team go through all of that content and then you take it back to the studio and you have more conversations because yeah. we're here, yeah. you get your ears to the street and you get to hear what is important. And then you get to have those conversations yeah. ongoing in the studios. I want to get your perspective on what customers uh, and on the audience side, people that consume our content on Silicon Angle, the Cube and the Cube Research, as well as leverage some of the clips, as well as the brands. Uh, I hear a lot of people saying this high frequency insights and compare the cube to like high frequency trading, how that changed the game in finance. High frequency insights is also changing the impact of our clients and also audiences as they make uh, decisions. What benefits do you hear when you, when you see the results of the cube digital team to audiences? What do you hear that they like about the system and what are the brands saying? You get answers faster, you get context faster, and you get the stories faster. And so when there's something that's trending at a particular show, you can see it, it gets replicated on what's happening on digital and people get really excited about the stories that we're telling. You know what's great is as technology gets better, certainly Jen and I, we're taking advantage of it, but also cameras are getting better. Yeah. You and I shot an iPhone, high quality, with some really nice new microphones. Um, we can actually go out and do, not just booth review, but we can actually go out and get the content. So no story's too small for the cube, no location's too, too far, we'll go and we'll do whatever it takes. Talk about that impact because it's not just a booth crawl. We actually can get content and get that into the system. What's your what's your uh, take on that? Let's take Cube to the Mars, right? <laughs> let's let's go everywhere, galactic. Um, getting let the... Elon build Mars out first. Once Elon <laughs> gets Mars done, then we go we go on uh, the Mars. Yeah, uh, but you know, going to the the Dell booth in particular was a great opportunity uh, for me because you provide so much context with the, the content that you provide on the Cube. Yeah. Um, it's great for me to be able to go there with you, get an explanation of the hardware that's happening um, and how it all fits yeah. together, how it all pieces together. It's great that you've been on the journey since the beginning. Uh, it, it, if you look back to like 2009, 2010, when we started the journey 15 years ago and look at now, it's interesting to see the vision originally kind of played out, open source content, fast and, and free research, analysis, and then the video piece just continues to be super important. I mean, it's like, I mean, <laughs> I sometimes I'm like, oh, whoa, holy, holy moly. Holy moly. It's, and it's all centered on the analysis, right? It starts with the knowledge base. Yeah. It starts with the authority and it gets to grow from there. Yeah. I think content has got to be about original content and authority. Kristen, final word. What's, what's next for the digital team at theCUBE? Share some of the plans that we have and you have over the next year for with uh, audiences consuming the best content and brands getting good service. We want to do so much more. We want to be able to share more of those stories even faster than we're already doing. And we want to be able to really drive the context of what that's all about and get more signal from the noise yeah. from our analysts. And our analyst team is growing, right? And yeah. so we just have a, a growing knowledge base and we want to share that with the world. Yeah, the analyst team is growing. This is a great point. And by the way, they're so smart and they bring that brains and they bring the customer's brains together. I mean, we're merging in the data from our side with the customer side, the audience side, and just making it free. It's awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming on. Okay, that's Chris Nicole breaking down what's on the show floor and kind of what's hot, what's going on inside the Cube Digital and our mission to get the content out as fast as possible. Again, we're here at Supercomputing. This show is going to continue digitally and we're going to continue to cover the impact of Supercomputing. Of course, NVIDIA GTC is coming up. You got reInvent coming up. All the top events coming up. Big data will be part of it. Generative AI will be a big part of it, of course. Hyper, hyperscale, high performance computing is a big part of it. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. For Dave Vellante, Savannah Peterson, Kristen Nicole Martin, and the whole team here, thanks for watching.